To make God rays, you need two things. You need an obstacle, a light source, and a volumetric object. For the volumetric object, we just have a principal shader, and the only settings we are touching are the density, which controls the density of the volume. And then anisotropy just controls how faded the God rays are. If you look at the God rays, you can see that uh, they are more crisp, more sharp. Uh, that's a result of having the size of the source of the God rays smaller. So if I look at uh, the sun here, I'm setting it the sun angle to 0 0.1. By the way, I'm using the sun and the sky texture for this so that I have a more sharper, more pronounced gold race. If I just hide the sun for now, you can see that uh, this is what I get from the sky texture. You can see there is gold rays, but uh, they are not as crisp as I want them. And But if I wanted to make them a little bit more sharper, I can go on and reduce the sun size and use a smaller value here. So if I use 0.1, uh, they become a bit sharper, but I also lose the sun itself, uh, so I don't see it very well. And uh, the god rays are still lacking something, so that's why I, I additionally add uh, the sun there. And I usually also bring back the sun size to something like 1, so that I can see the sun disk itself and uh, still have crisp gold rays. I have two suns. One is from the, from the sky texture, and another one is from a light object. The sun setting for that sun. How you can go to the sun object here and you can see the sun angle is going to control how sharp the god rays we, we get there. So if I first switch off the sun disk, you can see we don't really get any god rays because the god rays need to have a source of light. And uh, when you remove the sun disk, you have removed uh, that source of light. I want to just show you, demonstrate to you how the god rays from the sun look. You can see how sharp they are and uh, I can control the overall color directly there and I can also reduce the sun angle to make them really sharp. If I make the sun angle big, you can see they become a bit faded. They're not as pronounced. If I make it even far more bigger, you can see you barely see, you barely see any volumetric shadows. But uh, setting it at uh, around 0.1 is a good area. It also gives us this bright spot here that you usually don't get with the sun disk. So if I hide this for a second and I just show the sun disk, you see, we don't have that blight spot. So I just combine them together like this. And then we have uh, everything uh, looking like that. And the great thing about this is I've also set up drivers for the sun elevation in the sky texture and the sun rotation in the sky texture to work with the rotation of the sun here. So if I rotate this, you can see I'm controlling uh, the sun elevation and sun rotation of the sky texture. I can even rotate this here. If I remove the volumetric, you can see this more clearly. I don't have this this linked up together. I have my drivers here. Disable that as well. When I rotate just the sun, it won't rotate the sun disk. I would have to come back here and uh, do it directly. I just make sure that uh, I have this tied to a driver that is controlled by this and uh, I would have everything set. So now I can just rotate one object, just rotate the sun and uh, basically have everything in place. This setup also has the additional advantage of just being able to change the, adjust the color, the overall color quite easily by changing the sun uh, color. And you can see how that would affect uh, everything. Maybe you have uh, some sort of forest uh, like this. If I rotate this again, I can bring uh, the sun angle like that. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up the drivers so that you can control the sun elevation and uh, sun rotation by just rotating the sun object here. Uh, by the way, if you're a patron or a YouTube member, you can get the project file so that you can examine this. I'm going to leave all the links in the description uh, so that you can examine how I set this up, uh, including the driver setup.